<coughs> Hasidic gems on Parsha Slech Lecha. <coughs> Posek says, Vayema Hashem al Avram Lech Lecha, May Arzacha, Go away from your land, El Horetz Asher Areka, to the land that I will show you. That's the simple. The Hasidish Eternal tell us a little word, short, very sweet, and very to the point. Lech Lecha. Go away from Lecha. Go away from only thinking about yourself. You got to think about others, what you can do to help them. Go away from Lecha. And this reminds me of a story that I heard with Moran Hagoin Reb Nosen Tzvi Finkel, the Mira Rosh Hashiva, Zechotzadak Levracha. Somebody came to him, somebody who was going to be a Baltakeya on Rosh Hashanah, he was going to be to blow the Shefer. And he came and he asked Reb Nosen Tzvi, he says, what kavonas should I have when I blow the shofar? Such a crucial moment. What kind of kavonas should I have? And Reb Nosen Tzvi, Sochene Racha, was not a man of many words. Few words, one word, one word. And he said to him, others. Think about, when you're blowing the shofar for Rosh Hashanah, think about what you can do to help others. Gewaldic. Continuing with Hasidic gems, um, Parshas Lech Lecha. So the title says, So Avram started his journey. Vayikach Avram. Avram took as Sorai Ishtai, his wife Sora, Fe'es Loit ben Ochiv, and his Loit, the son of his brother, of Avram Avinu's brother, Fe'es HaNefesh Asher Osu Bukharan, which we'll talk about in a minute. But meanwhile it says, Vayikach Avram es Sora Yishtai Fe'es Loit ben Ochiv. Why does the title have to mention Loit was the brother's son. I mean, how many times does the Torah have to tell it us? There's Loit, Loit who was the son of the brother of Avram. That's the simple. The Hasidish Torah or Rav HaKodesh Rebelimelech Milizensk tells us that the Torah is telling us that the tzaddik, Avram Avinu, is able to change totally the Yitzhahara to good, to be good. Because light in Hasidic literature stands for the Yitzhahara. So he was able to take Loit ben Ochiv, the the Yitzhahara, and make him into his brother. The Torah adds every the Torah were adds many times, Loit ben Ochiv. Loit was the son of the brother of Ramavinu. Loit was the Yitzhahara, who can be twisted and turned and to become a per, a good good a good a good a good a good, a good uh, influence and to become good period and to make him into his brother so the Torah writes light to tell us that if a person is possessed by the Yitzhahara, he shouldn't think he's finished 
because he has to work on himself. If the Eight Sahara gets him always, he has to work on himself, and he has and he can become Ben Ochev. He can become a, a son of the brother, a, a relative, a friend. He can become a friend of um, of, of the Eight Sahara. Gavaldik person who is possessed by the eight Sahara can can rid himself of the eight Sahara and become Ben Ochif. And that's why the Torah writes when they say Lot that they've mentioned a lot of times Ben Ochif, the son of his brother. The end of the Posik says Avram took Sorai and he took Lot Ben Ochif and the souls that they made in Choron. Simple. Which means that, um, and Rashi brings it, that Avram Megayar Esan Hoanoshim and Sora Megayar Esan Noshim. They were able to um, make these souls. That's the simple. And the simple is saying also, Asher Osu, Rashi seems to translate, Asher Osu, which they acquired in Choran. The souls which they acquired um, in, in, in Choran, they took all those souls that they bought, that they acquired, they took, uh, Avram and Sarah took them with with them on their on their new journey that they were going to. That's the simple. Rav Kodesh Reb Avram David Mibotchech translates the souls Asher Osu Bechoron, meaning that they really made them. Like it's like it says in the pasuk, Asher Asu, they made souls. How did they make souls? They made souls because they took these souls that were nothing, and they brought them and 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 made them live a new life of not moves ruchni, not not a spiritual death, but a spiritual life. They put new life into them, life of Chaye uh, Olam, the life of, of, of spirituality in them. Because simply we would translate either Asher Osu, meaning that they acquired, like Rashi seems to say, and then even more simple is the lives that they made. Did they make lives? What did they make lives? Did they made lives. They made lives by putting spirituality into them. Gavaldik. Okay. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshish Lech Lecha. So it says that they were fighting the four kings against five kings. And one of the places that they were near um, was Ein Mishpat He Kodesh. Was Ein Mishpat. Um, what is what is the name of what is the meaning of Ein Mishpat? Well, maybe Ein means like a fountain. Not sure. Ein Mishpat, but that was the place of Mishpat. Ein Mishpat He Kodesh. Ein Mishpat means that um, um, uh, it's a place where they had mishpat, where they had to, where they, the uh, B'nai Hamadina, the Lashon of Rashi, Mokum Shahoyu B'nai Hamadina Miskapsim Shom La Mishpat. That's why it's that place there that they were fighting there is called Ein Mishpat. And nowadays it's Kodesh. When the Torah was written, this Ein Mishpat, um, 
was, was, was now called Kodesh. That's the simple. The Chassidish Torah are saying that Ein Mishpat, it's talking about something with the eyes, Ein, not a fountain, or it's talking about the if somebody has Ein Mishpat, his eyes are are, are doing the things what the, what Halacha requires. Mishpat, Ein, he's they're doing, which means that they watch to their eyes, that they shouldn't be nichshal, they shouldn't stumble and commit a sin by looking by his by by evil thoughts that their eyes bring them to see and maybe to do afterwards. And so the Pasuk is saying here, according to the Hasidic Shetorilach, if somebody watches his eyes not to be nichshal and averis, he Kodesh, now it's called Kodesh, they're translating who Kodosh. If a person can watch his eyes not to look in the wrong places and not to do, not to be, uh, um, not, not to come to do wrong things, he's Kodesh. You gotta watch your eyes. You gotta watch your eyes not to see and do anything wrong. One more Hasidish Torah. Maybe two more. So it says in the Pasik that the people of Sodom, Anche Sodom, were Roim Vechatoim. The Anche Sodom, the people of Sodom, were bad and sinners. That's the simple. The Hasidish Eternal Acha saying, Anoshim is always used for Hashuvim. I think by the Miraglim it said, they were Anoshim, they were Anoshim, they were, they were Choshev people. So the Pasuk is saying here, according to our Rav HaKodesh, Reb um, Tzvi Elimelech Midinev, they're saying that the Anshe Sodom, the Choshev, the people in Sodom, were evil, evil and sinners. Anshe Sodom, Choshev, they were Choshev, the, the, the best people in the city, they were sinners, and um, um, they were sinners, and they were sinners and bad, bad people. A person could be a chosh of a person. He's distinguished among the many other members of the place where they were in, and he could still be, still be a uh, bad and and. Um, and sinners. Anshe Sodom, the best people of Sodom were sinners and bad. So a person can't say, oh, I'm distinguished, I'm, I'm the mayor of the city, I'm this, that. You can't say that that's any plus to him because you could be an Adam an, an, an Choshev and be evil and sinners. Continuing one more, Hasidic gem. So it says in the Torah, Vayikhu Esloit, the 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 the, uh, the nation, the, the 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 different nations were fighting between each other, and they took a uh, lot as Vayikhu. As lot vs rechushay, they took lot vs rechushay ben ach ben achi Avram. Again, here it's talking about they took lot and they took his possessions. And who was lot? Ben achi Avram. And the question is. Why does it have to say here again that they took Lot's possessions? And who was Lot? Lot was the brother 
of Avram. Now, why, why is it necessary for the Torah to keep saying that he was the son of the brother of Avram? That's the simple. The Hasidic Shetayla la Chorava Kodesh Ramoshi Yechil Me Ozhrov says that it seems he's saying that they missed the boat. The people that, that uh, captured Lot, they thought they took his his famegen, they took they thought he took they took his rechush. Vayikhu es rechushai ben es rechushai, and the pasuk is saying right back to them, you didn't take his rechush, you may have taken the million dollars in his bank account, but his true rechush was that he was ben achi Avram. The spirituality that that he had within him, Lot, um, was, was the, 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 because it says, Rechushoi ben Achi Avram. Vayichu es Lot, ve'es Rechushoi, they took Lot and his possessions. He was, and and Rechushoi says, right next to ben Achi Avram, that the Famegen, the, 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 the true Rechush of Lot, was that he had shaykhs, that he was a son, he was a son of a brother of um, Avram Avinu. The true rechush is not what he has, the million dollars that he has in the bank. The true rechush is that he had this spirituality within him, that he was the son of the brother of Avram Avinu. We should be zeicher to all these tremendous hashkofas Amen v'yamen.